powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Manoweta, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's Word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. Faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Owen. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. You're welcome to Life Changing Section. And I believe that God's Word has all it takes to transform you and inspire you to take the lead in the direction of His will. And today we'll be sharing about greater life in Christ Jesus. If you truly want to live an effective life, a productive life, a life that is consistent with the will of God, Christ has to be your focus. You know, Paul was right and he said that Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in you, not religion, not tradition, but Christ in you. If Christ dwells in you, it is an indication that you have what it takes to manifest, to manifest the greater life, a life that is above death, a life that is above, above depression, above anxiety, above deception, above manipulation of the enemy. In Christ Jesus, we are called to manifest the will of God in every aspect of our life. So the first thing we need to establish is the revelation of the Christ in you. If you are born again, you have the authority to function in the will of God. If you're born again, you have the authority to function in the will of God. You have the authority to enforce God's will in all aspects of your life. You can decide not to be sick. You can decide not to be frustrated. You can decide not to live a life of defeat because in Christ Jesus, you have the authority to manifest the God kind of experience. We are not victims looking for victory. We are the victorious that cannot become victimized, that cannot be victimized. We are not victims looking for victory. We are the victorious that cannot be victimized by situation, by circumstances, by demonic conspiracy. Because in Christ Jesus, we have all it takes to reign in life. So the first thing we need to establish, like I said, is the revelation of the Christ in you. When we walk in this consciousness that Christ is in us, it helps us to see things from the perspective of the will of God. And seeing things from God's perspective is the key to walking in spiritual boldness. You cannot truly be bold spiritually in the things of the Spirit except your perspective is consistent with the Word of God. And if my perspective is not consistent with God's word, it is an indication that I cannot walk in dominion. I cannot walk in power because I choose not to magnify the word of God above my experience. So when we have the revelation of the Christ in us, this was what made people like St. Paul powerful people. Apostle Paul was a very powerful apostle. One of the keys to him being very powerful was this revelation, Christ in you. And because he had that revelation that Christ was in him, it was difficult for him to lose any battle. It was difficult for him to be conquered by any situation because he had the revelation that Christ in you is the hope of glory. And can I say this to you? To manifest the greater life, this revelation must be dominant in your spirit. The Christ in you, not religion, not tradition, not, not tradition, not religion, but Christ in you. Christ in you. When you walk in this consciousness of the greater one that lives in your inside, that the greater one lives in my inside, Facts John 4 verse 4. I'd like us to look at that scripture in Facts John 4 verse 4. I think we're going to have a, a great word there. In Facts John 4 verse 4, look at what it said here. 
In fact, John 4 verse 4, he said here, he said, Ye are of God. This is powerful. He said, Ye are of God. You need to have this understanding that the day you got born again, you are born into the family of God. And because you're born into God's family, you have access to provision, you have access to protection, you have access to supernatural favor, you have access to preferential treatment, you have access to angelic assistance, you have access to heavenly resources, you have access to greater works of the Spirit, you have access to so much. This is why it's called an inheritance. It simply means you never worked for it. And he said, ye are of God. So it doesn't matter what is happening around you, because I am of God, my destiny is greater than any opposition that wants to contest with my future. My destiny is greater. In Christ Jesus, I have advantage. In Christ Jesus, I have platform. In Christ Jesus, I have dominion, because Christ in me is the fountain of life. Is the source of power, is the source of energy, is the source of true inspiration, he's the source of wisdom. The scripture established in First Corinthians chapter one is that Christ has been made unto us the wisdom of God and the power of God. And because Christ dwells in us, it becomes the platform for positive thinking. It becomes the platform for supernatural thinking. That was the right word I was looking for. It becomes a platform for supernatural thinking. You don't see situations as things that can subdue your dream or subdue your vision because right now you're looking at everything from the perspective of the Christ in you. So the scripture established in fact John 4 verse 4 said, Ye are of God. You see, you need to understand this. No matter what is happening around you, in your job, in your finance, in your relationship, always establish this fact that I am of God. And because I am of God, I have the resources to take care of this situation. One of the resources you have that will always be there for you is called the blessing. We have the blessing. The blessing is a supernatural resources. The, the blessing is what is a supernatural resources. It's a supernatural resources. Why did I say the blessing is a supernatural resources? From the old covenant, we saw how uh, Esau and Jacob and Isaac asked Esau to go get him a venison as he can bless him, as he could pray for him, as he could transfer the blessing. In the old covenant, most of the people in the old covenant understand the potential of the blessing. They understood that he that has the blessing controls the future. Whoever that have the blessing have what it takes to reign in life. But the beauty of this, the, the, the beautiful part of this is that in Christ Jesus, we are already blessed. That simply means you have what it takes to unlock the will of God in all aspects of your life. You have what it takes. You're not supposed to be confused. You're not supposed to be the kind of person that said, I don't know what to do. We always know what to do because the Spirit of God dwells in us. We always know what to do because the Holy Spirit dwells in us. And because of his presence in us, it is impossible for we to walk in confusion. You see, God wants you to understand that he's not far from you. God wants you to understand that he's not just in heaven, seated there, and you are down here. He wants you to understand that he lives in you. The Bible said our body is the temple of God. So if our body is the temple of God, that simply means he dwells in us. And because he dwells in us, that is a proof for supernatural living. That is an indication that you're going to rise above the obstacles of life, the challenges of life, the oppositions of life, because Christ dwells in you. And because he dwells in me, I will see things from his perspective. So the scripture already has said in first John 4 verse 4, it said, Ye are of God little children and have overcome them. You see, the greater life in Christ Jesus is the overcoming life. It's not a life that can be overcome by storm, by challenges, by oppositions. No, the greater life in Christ Jesus cannot be subdued by infirmity, by infection, by sickness and disease. Because we are far above that realm. We are seated in heavenly places. We are not standing. We are seated in heavenly places. That is a position of authority. That is a position of influence. And because we are there, we have what it takes to enforce the will of God when we walk in the revelation of the Christ in us.
And this revelation of the Christ in us is the very foundation for faith of, for, for, for our faith to produce results because your faith cannot produce great results except you have this revelation that Christ dwells in me. And because he dwells in me, nothing can be impossible to me. God always wants you to see things from his knowledge, from his perspective. He wants his perspective to decide what you believe, what you do, and what you say. Because when God's word becomes a perspective, we'll flourish, we prosper, we excel, we succeed, we win in life, we reign in life when God's word becomes our foundation. And it said here, I like this scripture so much. This is one of the best scriptures I have. I love so much in the scriptures. First John 4 verse 4. It says, Ye are of God. This is why when you hear things like this, you should understand that God is not against you. God is for you. When you hear things like this, it should inspire you to move in the direction of his will. It should inspire you to think that with God, all things are possible. You shouldn't see yourself as an average person. You shouldn't see yourself as someone who is weak. You shouldn't see yourself as someone who is sick looking for healing. You should see yourself as the healed that cannot be sick. He said, we need to have this God kind of perspective and it will come from scriptures like this. He said, ye are of God little children and have overcome them have overcome them. I told you that the blessing is a resources. The blessing is a resources. And let me get through what the scripture said. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. And greater is he that is in you than what is in the world. Greater is he that is in you. The one living inside of you is greater than anything around you. I sent out a post today on Finish Work TV uh, group and I said, in Christ Jesus, there is no generational curses. You know, a lot of Christians are still struggling with generational curses. They are still thinking about it. They are still bothered about what happens in their family line, who, who got cursed, whether their mom was cursed, and maybe they saw the way things went in their family. Let me say this to you. The key to living the blessed life is to submit to the integrity of God's word and make the word of God the foundation for your thinking, your action, and your conversation. If you want to live a best life, submit to the integrity of God's word. You cannot believe in curses and prosper in the blessing. You have to think from the blessing consciousness. Because we are the seed of Abraham, the true nature of the father is in us. And because the true nature of the Father is in us, we are not expected to become victims of life. We are expected to become victors. We are expected to win in life. We are expected to enforce the will of God. So the blessing is a resources. Now, I want to read this scripture in Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. In Revelation 5, verse 12, he said, Saying with a loud voice, What is the Lamb that was slain to receive power? Power is a resources. Power. The ability to cause change, the ability to act in the direction of the knowledge of the Father, power, the ability to cause change, power is a resources. In Christ Jesus, we have power. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. In Christ Jesus, we have power. We have power over evil spirits. We have power over environmental factors, forces. We can speak to nature because Jesus, our Lord and Savior, spoke to nature. Jesus was speaking to nature. He spoke to the wind. He spoke to the storm. He spoke to opposition. He spoke to situation. He spoke to circumstances and they bow to the integrity of his word. And this same Jesus, this Christ, lives in you right now. And because he lives in you, you have what it takes to change situations. You have what it takes to live in victory. And what you have to live in victory is the Christ in you. And because Christ dwells in you, you cannot fail. Because Christ dwells in you. Because Christ lives in you, you are expected to reign in life. You are expected to become, to live victoriously because Christ in you, the hope of glory. So power is your resources, riches are resources, wisdom is your resources, strength is your resources, honor is your resources, glory is a resources. Glory 
It's a resources. We have the glory of God in our favor and we can live the glory life now. We're not going to live the glory life when we go to heaven. We can start right from here to manifest the glory of God because Christ is in us. And because Christ is in us, nothing can be impossible to us. We have been called to win. We have been called to reign. We have been called to succeed in life. And because we are called to live the God life, you are not expected to be a victim. The greater life in Christ Jesus is life worth living. If you are watching this broadcast, I want you to understand that you have the resources of heaven at your disposal. And when you choose to walk in the consciousness of the Christ in you, he empowers you to function in the knowledge of the will of the Father, which becomes the very foundation for enforcing the will of God in every aspect of your life. And can I say this to you? You are victorious. You are blessed. And God wants you to function from the blessing consciousness. That believe that there is greatness in you. If you are watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, it means you're born again and the Spirit of God is going to lead you from this day forward and you will not remain the same. Now, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. And when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, it helps you to receive the engrafted Word of God that have the potential to inspire you, to empower you, to take the lead in the direction of the will of God. And also, you can keep watching me on FinishWorkTV.com. FinishWorkTV is a ministry on the cutting edge, helping many people around the world to receive the engrafted word of God that has the potential to transform them and inspire them to take the lead in the direction of the will of God. And also consider partnering with this ministry. Our passion is to ensure that God's people around the world keep receiving multiple broadcasts every day from TV, from radio, from scopes, from the, the YouTube, from every platform we can lay our hands we want people to receive God's word. So you can partner with me today on PayPal. Is Fitman teaching at gmail.com. Fitman teaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Until I come your way soon, please don't forget this. There is greatness in you.